What's up guys, Core here. And Dom here. And uh, we have a nice little video for you. This one's on Dying Light. Basically we're going to show you how to get your survivor in agility up. Probably the fastest way, or at the moment the fastest way. But first we're going to show you how to get your survivor up first. First you need to go to the stuffed turtle. Yeah, the stuffed, stuffed turtle. turtle. It's a quarantine zone, it's a quest. So if, and I'll show you right here, there's a quest for it. And basically you're going to go on here. And there are going to be five disaster fucking packs. Yeah, shit. like an on-site relief pack is what it's called. Mm -hmm. Okay, basically you're going to jump on that shit. You're going to get some dicked on. You don't fucking make that jump. Which is kind of hard to make the jump. Practice kind of helps a little bit. Practice perfect. Okay, you turn that off. Once you do that, you're going to grab this shit, one over here. The switch broke down. And on the top of the shelves. Yeah. You don't need a zip line for this. You can just walk across. But, I mean, we're the mumbly as shit. And it makes it way quicker if you have a zip line. But you have to be uh, survivor rank 12. So anyways, what you're gonna do is you're gonna fucking pick this bitch. It's easy. So make sure you have a couple picks whenever you do this. And the ram ability will help a lot in this. And so will firecrackers. Yeah, we usually throw firecrackers and just fuck them right in the pussy, get in there, grab the one that's in here, and then you'll there'll be a boomer or a fucking bomber. And you'll kinda just wait for that to explode. There it goes, that one went off, and then jump up there, take this last one, and then ram your way out of here. Basically, we're going to show you another way to do it, or, like, a faster way to do it. It's actually pretty much the same thing, but, basically, <laughs> this is another example. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you whenever we get to the fucking survival one or some shit. Shit, the goddamn switch broke down. Okay, once you complete this uh, quarantine zone as many times as you want, uh, you're going to take all those disaster packs to the Quartermaster, which is located at the tower if you're not playing DLC. Once you take it to him, you should get, if you have all five disaster packs, you should get 60,000 XP. And say you do it five times, you'll get 300,000 XP. So it's a pretty good way. It's, it's easy. It won't take you that long. I think, like, I mean, it'll probably take, for me, from, like, to get to 20, 24, or 25, whatever the fuck it is. I think it took me like 15 to 20 minutes. So if you just, you know, take a little time out, you should be able to get done relatively fast. Yeah, it, as long as you keep spamming it. Yeah, and you get your, you'll get your agility up a little bit and your power. Yeah, but it's by far the easiest way to get your survivor up. And survivor is like one of the key things in this game. Because it gives you like the grappling hook, it teaches you how to like use lock picks and stuff like that. Okay, basically, the next one is the Jody, and you're gonna have to go to this big ass fucking bridge we just showed you on the on the map. And one thing that'll really help you doing this, you'll have to complete th two missions. One called on the hook side. You'll have to meet these guys Tolga and Fatin. They're fucking I don't know. I think they're Russian. I don't know what the fuck they are. They're fucking retarded though, or they think you're stupid. But basically, you gotta click complete the mission on the hook side and assault and batteries, and then you'll eventually get a mission called hardware. And basically. They'll tell you to get to the fucking bridge, and you'll get a safe house there once you arrive at the bridge. So basically, you'll be on this bridge, and you'll fall off sometimes. It'll fuck you a lot, so you need to, you know, kind of be careful whenever you're doing it. So yeah, you'll like you'll see. Uh, we die actually in this video, but you die a lot if you don't have the safe house. Yeah, and getting your survivor up is very key to this because the how many times you can use the um, the grappling hook will really, like, if you can use it, I think you can only use it twice if you get the regular grabbing hook at level 12. Once you get the, like, the max survivor, you can do it, like... You can do it, like, four times. Yeah, four times. Which, if you know how to use it. Yeah, which will save your ass a lot. So, we'll skip all the way until we're on top of the bridge, and we'll see you guys then.
Okay, once you're done scaling this big ass fucking bridge, we're still not done yet. You'll get to the top, and you know, you'll there'll be a safe house there. So if you'll fall off sometimes, you know, so you'll die. And now you've reached the fucking top. Now cross on that sign about the fucking zip line over there. That's where your safe house will be. That'll fucking save your life a ton. Cause you'll die. A it, it depends on how like if you're being retarded. Yeah, you'll die a lot. Basically, what you want to do is, if you want the safer way, you have like a really low survivor. Um, you only have the level 12 grappling hook. Just basically walk along these, hold down RB each time you do it. And you can spam it too if yeah. you want, but holding down RB works better. And you can do that. You can fall off, purposely fall off, zip line back up, and it'll give you a fuck ton of points. You'll get like 200. Basically, you need to wait until night. Wait until night. Wait, wait until night to do yeah. this so you get double XP. And uh, the reason we go up to the top one is because of that right there. Um, you can fall off and you basically have a second chance with your grappling hook to mm -hmm. save yourself. But if you fall off and you don't have that um, safe, house, that safe house at the top of the tower, you're fucked. It's, it's really annoying and it takes a lot of time for no reason. Well, don't get frustrated with this. I mean, I've died a couple times doing this. But if you wait until night and you'll kind of get into a rhythm eventually... It's your choice whether you want to um, use a grappling hook or not, or you just want to jump across. I jumped across for the longest time because I was pussy and didn't think it would work. But I started doing this and it really worked out. So, yeah, we fucking died. And so that'll fine. happen a lot. But, you know, since Dominic doesn't have a fucking safe house, we spawn the fucking beach. So it's, it's really key that you get that safe house up on that bridge. It well, helps a lot with doing uh, It's not a glitch, it's farming. It's no, it's, yeah, it's definitely not, like, game-breaking. It'll, it'll take some time. I think it took me, once like a half hour. If a Volta's don't get you on top of the bridge, that's, like, a good thing to know. Yeah. Volta's won't go up at the top and completely murder you whenever you're trying to do the glitch. So as long as you're by the safe house at night, then you can just cheese it for points. Mm -hmm. no, nothing will get you, so you're safe up at the top of the fucking bridge. But other than that, I think that pretty much sums up the survivor and the agility, I guess, level up which thingy majigger. Yeah, by the way, with combat, there's really nothing you can do. You basically just have to fight them. Yeah, this is how you get your combat up. You know, you jump off the bridge and just fuck him right in the pussy. Like this, bam. Miss. And you shoot him again and miss again. And you shoot him. And then you give him up like a fifth try. Well, hope you guys enjoyed this, you know. Yeah. Yeah, it's a quick little tip. We've had uh, a lot of fun with this game and really enjoy playing it. Uh, even if we're not recording it, because I've been posting in a while. But still, yeah, this game is actually a really good game, and you should give it a try. It's only like 30 bucks, and you get all the DLC with it right now. The DLC's fucking great. The DLC, the following is really awesome. The following is really awesome. So is the bows I've worn. But the following, it's if you don't, lit. if you aren't playing with friends, the following is awesome. Okay, guys, hope you enjoyed this fucking video. It was fucking great. Leave a like and leave a fucking subscribe and fucking ride the posing.